What's up good people, welcome back to my channel. In this uh, short video, I'll try to uh, have a short video. <laughs> In this uh, short video, I'm gonna talk about the efficacy of peppermint oil for IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. So let's go ahead and talk about it and see what uh, this publication uh, says about it. That IBS is one of the most common disorders of gut-brain interaction. Gut and brain, it's not just your bowel. It's your brain connection as well. That's where I wanted to hit it hard that yes, gut and brain, two things are involved in this. And it has a complex pathophysiology and that's why antispasmodics are prescribed as a first line therapy because of their action on the gut motility. And in this regard, peppermint oil has also been used as an antispasmodic agent. And in this uh, publication, it, uh, the author is going on the efficacy of this for uh, this specific IBS patient uh, group. And the conclusion is the peppermint oil was superior to the placebo for the treatment of IBS, but adverse effects were more frequent. So that's the problem. That's where the problem comes. Many third world countries, they're using peppermint oil. But the problem is that it's associated with more adverse events so risk versus benefits don't uh, lean towards the peppermint oil use so so just be careful my uh, sole purpose of this video is to bring the awareness that yes peppermint oil could be useful for your spasms of your gut and relieve your problems related to IBS but the thing is it has a lot of side effects and it's not that beneficial compared to some other ways that you can get it treated. So adequately, uh, you know, powered RCTs uh, were showing this. And the thing is, uh, this uh, peppermint oil has been used for centuries. It's, it's, it's not like it, uh, it came right now. It's been used for many, many years or centuries. And they found out way before this uh, medication that we see these days. So herbal medicine specialists and all those people, they found out. But the thing is, uh, it's a huge it's a huge publication. You can go over it. I will post the link in the discussion or the description of this video. But the evidence showed, in summary, the meta-analysis of this whole showed the evidence that peppermint oil is efficacious, but it has more uh, side effects, more problems. And when uh, you are comparing it to other ways that you can treat it so it it falls behind that's the thing but if you have more questions please ask me please ask your uh, gastroenterologist or primary care doctor and don't just uh, fall into the trap of uh, some home remedies that could make you suffer more okay thank you so much have a great day bye bye